Hi everyone, welcome to a new studio vlog. Today I'm going to show you the backstage of my Etsy shop and also share with you how I create my prints and my bookmarks. So I'm going to start with the prints. If you have watched my previous video, you have seen that I've created some new paintings that are still available on my shops if you're interested and I also wanted to create some prints for you not for all the paintings but for some of them so I'm going to do that for the cherry blossom one which I'm touching up a little bit because I've taken a picture of it sometimes you can get some weird stuff on the picture and sometimes it's also useful to add more details or change some little things that you wish could have changed on the original so that's what I'm doing here especially for the Paris painting because there are some little details that I wish I could have done on it but it was so small that it was very difficult for me to do it so here I can do it for the print and also the print will be a little bit bigger than the original so I need to yeah just smooth it out can I say that? Just get a pretty smooth picture so that it looks better. To do that I'm using Procreate on my iPad Pro and that's really easy to do these kind of things. Then I'm gonna run some tests and just try to get the right colors, try to just also get the right size that I want and yeah, get something that I really like. So I decided to create 14 by 14 centimeters print because the originals were 11 by 11 for the cherry blossom and the Paris one but the other one was 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters so it could have been a little bit bigger for this one but not for the other two so that's why I decided to go for this size and I think it's pretty nice and pretty cool I also have some frames that are perfect for them so I also wanted to show you the final result and how they look framed let me know what you think of them and which one is your favorite, I would love to know. And also let me know in which frame you like them the most. I'm also going to put you some links in the description box if you want to buy this type of frames, if you're interested by these prints. I think they are really cute and they are now available on my shop if you're interested. You always have the link in the description box if you want to go check it out. Also let me know if you would be interested in some stickers, I don't know. I'm thinking about that. Um, I think I'm going to try to create some stickers just to see if I can create something nice and if I like doing that. I don't know yet, <laughs> but I would love to know if you would be interested. Let me know in the comments. I'm really happy with these prints and I think they look very cute, especially when they are framed. So yeah, that was really nice to do. Obviously the colors are not exactly the same as on the originals, but they are still pretty nice and I've created something that I really enjoy. Then I took some pictures to add them on my shop and also on my Instagram. By the way, I only posted one video last week because this took me a long time to do. Actually, the vlog type of videos, like studio vlog type of videos, takes me more time to do and to create. So that's also why I couldn't post more videos. <laughs> last week and I also spent a lot of time on my shop so that's also why. I have different videos that I want, I want to post and create for you that you have requested me so they are coming very soon and I'm gonna try to post a little bit more regularly and more often like I used to do but just know that when I'm posting studio vlog type of videos yeah they take more time so I just wanted to explain a little bit <laughs> but I really love making videos for you and I hope you like them too. I also wanted to create new bookmarks so I have one that you can see here. The colors are not the right ones, you'll see the final one at the end and how it's really supposed to look at the end but I use it as a reference for the size to create the same size of bookmarks because I think it's really nice. It's basically the size of my iPhone XS and I think it's very cute for bookmarks because they are not too big, they are not too long and I don't know, I think this size is very nice. I had already cut this paper but it was bigger, it was like card type of shape and it was too big and I wasn't inspired by it, I, I didn't know what to paint on them. So I decided to cut it again to create bookmarks and get the size of the previous bookmark that I had already done so that's why 
and as you can see I cut this paper a little bit bigger just to be sure to have the edges right and I'm gonna start with three bookmarks I think that's cool so you will be able to buy the four of them together in a set so I hope you like that I'm using some masking tape to get the edges right and get something very clean I'm gonna use gouache to paint these bookmarks I'm starting with the backgrounds and I'm gonna try to create them to go well together like to have the same types of colors I have a lot of blue and a little bit of purple because I love purple so that's what I'm doing here and I'm gonna paint them pretty much at the same time this is not a tutorial this is a time-lapse type of video and I just wanted to show you the process and how I've created them I wanted them to go well together and go well with the previous one so that the set looks nice I thought it would be nice to create some landscapes type of paintings and type of bookmarks that's actually what I love to paint the most so that was very fun for me to do and I also created something that have a lot of sky and to be able to paint a lot of that and because I think that looks very interesting and very nice and for the last one I also wanted to paint in some flowers so that's how they turned out let me know what you think of them and which one you like the most again the masking tape didn't take off perfectly and I think that's maybe because of this paper I don't know because I don't know it's very weird it didn't do that on my sketchbook so I don't know what's the deal with it but <laughs> it's a little bit annoying I have to admit here it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna print the final bookmarks and also cut the edges but still <laughs> I don't know what's happening with this masking tape and this paper it's very real anyway <laughs> this is the final result let me know which one you like the most and what you think of them so these are the original bookmarks so you'll see how I'm gonna create the prints but I really enjoyed creating the originals on paper like that and I really really love these paintings, I think they are very cute, I love the colors, I love the style, I'm really happy with them. I kind of want to create like bigger paintings on this theme, I think it's uh, pretty nice and interesting. Let me know what you think and if you would be interested. I can't wait to paint on canvas again and maybe spend more time doing these paintings but here on paper I cannot add too many layers with my gouache so that's what I get and it's pretty nice still really nice and I send them with my white paint which is very easy to do on paper so that's how the originals look like let me know what you think they are not perfect they are on paper but I still really like them now I'm gonna do some touch up on my screen on my iPad with Procreate and just erase what should not be there <laughs> because I took some pictures of them so again the pictures are not perfect and I have to do some little changes and adjust the pictures to get something that I really like. So I did that for all of them and I've also changed a little bit the blue one like the the moon on the blue sky I should have given them a name just to differentiate them but whatever and so I changed the moon on the blue one to get something that I like a little bit more and yeah again do some little changes to get something that I really enjoy I'm doing the kind of changes that would have been a lot more difficult to do on paper and with this size but here I can do it pretty easily so I take advantage of that then I also ran some tests just to get the right colors and get something that I like. I did that on regular paper and then print them on the thicker paper. That's also what I did for the first print. So again, you can see a little bit of that process, just cutting some paper to then print them and also do my tests. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty easy to do. You just have to have a right printer to be able to do that and have a good quality. So yeah, that's uh, what I did. And again, just change a little bit the color to get something that looks like the originals or to create something that you like a little bit more. That's what I've done. The prints are a little bit lighter than 
the originals because I think they look a little bit better like that but that's my preference and here you can see the final print I print them twice because I want to have a double thickness and have them on both sides you'll see that here you can see how they look compared to the originals so let me know what you think of them I'm gonna cut them just to take off the edges and also get round edges I have this little tool that is very helpful and I think they look a bit better like that so let me know what you think I'm also trying to make sure that they have the exact same size like pretty much that's very important for the next steps and I'm doing that for all of them I know that this is not the quickest and easiest way to create them but I enjoyed creating them myself so that's why but I will try to improve my process in the future I'm using this paper glue that is very nice and very good to do that and yeah I'm just sticking the two sides together and yeah sometimes I cut the edges a little bit after that but they don't always look better when I do that so I don't do that every time just when I really need to do that so that's why I'm trying to get the edges right on the first try and have both sides to look almost identical again I still have to improve my process but I think they turned out pretty well I really like how they look let me know what you think and if you're interested they are available on my shop now so that's how they look Obviously they are very very handmade so they don't look exactly the same every time but that's how they should look <laughs> pretty much. I think they are very cute, they look well together and the paper is pretty thick so that's good for bookmarks I think. Here you can compare them to the originals and I have to admit that some of the prints are even better than the original I think. But yeah, that's just my opinion. <laughs> they are now available as a set of four. And I received an order for the first bookmark that I showed you. So I printed and made a new bookmark with the right colors this time. And I also decided to offer the other one, thank the buyer. And that's someone who has already ordered on my shop. So I'm glad to be able to gift her the new bookmarks. So I hope she will enjoy them. So here you can see the final set with the right colors, the right size and everything. So that's how they look. You're going to see how I pack my orders right now, especially the small ones. I don't always use the exact same paper and the exact same things, but all my orders pretty much look like that. Just the colors and the materials change a little bit sometimes. But that's how I like to pack my orders. I hope you like that. I think that's pretty cute and pretty nice. I try to protect them well to avoid them to be damaged in the mail. I have some rigid envelopes for the small package like this. And if you don't know, I offer free worldwide shipping at the moment. So feel free to enjoy. I just cannot tell you exactly when the package will arrive right now because of the lockdown. Everything is very delayed, but I will try to keep you informed as much as possible and also know that I'm going to the post office only one day in a week. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Here you can see again the new prints and the new bookmarks that are available on my shop. Please go check it out and let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!